Good morning, it's Dad here. Dad and Esther. Well, Dad, Esther's still asleep. So this is a, the face of a person who um, has got up after Movie World yesterday. I'm feeling like someone who's got a hangover and my head is sore, my stomach's turning, all the muscles in my body is aching. And you know what? I think it's time to say big roller coaster rides in Movie World no more for this body <laughs> i love speed and i love always being a thrill seeker adventurer but you know what my body's just saying no more even yesterday the superman ride i said it was esther's first ride on a big roller coaster and i thought i'll take her on the fastest one i know and it was only only lasted 10 seconds or 20 seconds it was quick and yeah the weird thing um, you can buy a Tesla that goes has the acceleration of that Superman ride at 0 to 102 seconds. Like, wow, it's so fast. Just throws you back in the seat and you just hang on, you hold your breath and go, oh my god, that's fast. And yeah, anyway, so that took me a good two hours to recover from. And then we went on the little Scooby Dooby ride, which was okay. I didn't feel sick from that because, you know, it's a kid's ride. So after the Superman ride, um, I was, um, yeah, it took me two hours to get over that. And then then the kids ride was okay. And then I built up the courage to do the, um, there's a purple ride. Um, it was like a mixture of the Joker, Superman, all these rides put together, Batman. It does twists, it does loops, you go upside down, you do spirals, you do downhill drops like, inverted drops that are more than 90 degrees like oh my god and it's so high uh, it must be a hundred meters high at least um on the first drop and as soon as i went down that drop i thought oh shit here we go again <laughs> and after that do you know what it's now the next day and i just feel like i've been run over by a train my whole body's aching my head's sore my stomach's turning like a hangover <laughs> No more roller coasters for Dad. Do it while you're young, because when you get older, you won't do it. That's why when you see on the news these 85-year-olds that did parachuting and all that, and your body doesn't handle it, you know? That's why you see it on the news, because it's a big deal, you know, for someone old to go through that. But I, I don't know anyone 55 doing those rides I did yesterday. I was asking the people that looked my age or older, how old are you, how old are you? And they're all going like 45 and 41 and 50. And I'm like, oh God, I'm the oldest person doing the ride. Anyway, it was fun. My daughter can say dad did it. And when she's 55 and her kids are going, come on, mom, come on the ride. And she'll be going, no, 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 my body, I can't handle it. She'll know. She'll experience what I'm experiencing now. <laughs> Part of being a parent, eh? So we made it to the Gold Coast and we're going for a bike ride on this boardwalk. It's a bit cold, Esther reckons. I don't know, I feel sick still from yesterday. It's still sweating and stuff. Anyway, this is the Gold Coast. Over there is Cabal and Surface Paradise. We're going to go and check that out. And in the distance is Cool and Gutter. We might go and hang there later. And there's the famous Surface Paradise beaches. We won't be swimming today, it's a bit cool for that, but we will get to do a bike ride along the boardwalk, won't we? You don't look too refreshing after yesterday. Hello? <laughs> Cabalab. So, this is the most famous street in the Gold Coast. We're going to go and check it out down here, all the little shops and stuff. So many years ago, I went to a place in here, I can't remember which pub it was, but it was called the Indy Undie Ball, and everybody went to a ball for New Year's Eve in their undies, men and women. It was great fun, until about 11 o'clock at night all the women disappeared, and it was just all guys. So I kind of left about then. And that beach down there, see that beach down there? I rode my motorbike down there once, my trail bike, on the beach. I was up and down the beach, screaming around on my XR400, and all these people were jumping up, looking at me and waving their arms and stuff. I was riding past people that were sunbathing, and I didn't see any signs saying you weren't allowed on the beach. And then I saw a big sign saying you're not allowed on the beach, so I quickly got out of there before anybody came to book me. 
So Esther found a lifeguard here at Surface Paradise. Check him out. And it's directly opposite the tallest building here, which is being built, called the Melton. Check this out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the other one's in the clouds over there. Wow. Look at that. Can you imagine somebody's up in that crane working away in there? And the thing would be swaying around left and right. And look, he's got to climb all those stairs to get to the top. See all the stairs, Esther? I reckon he takes an elevator to the highest one. I don't reckon he climbs all the way up to you. I reckon he'll get the elevator as far as he can and then go from there. Yeah, and that one there, it's in the cloud, look. That's pretty cool. So, I found the place, the, the Indie Undie Ball. I remember going up them stairs and everyone left their clothes off to the left in these little locker rooms. So this was the place. <laughs> Weirdest nightclub I've ever been to where everyone had their underwear on only. <laughs> that was pretty wild. That was about 20 years before you were born. <laughs> Alright, we're in Cabalab now. So we're going to do a bit of a loop. So we've arrived at Surface Paradise. There's the sign there. The picture there is how it's supposed to be, but it's not sunny today, so it's not very busy. And we're going to go for a little cruise around. What do you reckon? So I'm just discreetly videoing these three ladies. They're on drugs. That's what drugs does to you. Gold Coast drug ladies at 9 a.m. This is a slingshotting. It's not open right now. It's only 30 bucks a head. I told her, so yeah, I'll pay you for it. You can sit in that little thing, but she's dead set against it. And the thing there says you have to be at least 110 centimeter, centimeters high. So, what does that mean? It means like six to eight year olds. Yeah, like tiny little kids could go on it. How amazing is that? You <laughs>